Well, hello there, and ha whoa, bone shooter's here already. Hi, bone shooter. Hi, sweetheart over there. I'm guessing that link goes to something that is related to your lens. All right. Uh, since it made bone shooter hungry, I assume. I'm gonna for once make an assumption. Uh, but we're not here for the food. Well, some might be here for the food, but we should be here for some terrain building. Yes, I have changed the camera angle for the terrain building thing. Let me know what you think about it. I'm thinking you can see more 3D like this. Uh, so, yeah, it's your lunches. Well, I know what you had for lunch, so yes, it's glorious. Alright, yeah. Uh, maybe we need to actually... Oh, there's the chat. Hello, say hello to yourself. Just trying to keep that out of it. To find a good working angle. Yeah, that should be working. It's a somewhat big piece, so it might be hard to see, but I can... Yeah, there we go. This is not how it looked when we left it. I know. Let's me adjust the fish face camera look maybe yes 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 um yeah so my computer is now on the bench and not beside me so i have the camera there and i can see the chat and i can look up and say hi into the camera i don't know i also like this angle for the bigger pieces like this i think it might be a bit practical but yeah it did not look like this when we left off did it if you were here new 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 there was a like a, a lump here that was supposed to be like a house thingy i removed that because i thought it looked horrible uh, put some small walls up here covered this i don't know if this was here oh yeah this was there and i just covered it up with a piece of an uh, old headphone bit the same here uh, same here in here we have a ring shaped thingy with an uh, interesting pattern inside of it and that's also from the same s headphone set actually so we changed a little bit here and we added a bunch of stuff here we added something to not have a boring wall and added some small stuff in here I'm not really sure exactly what I actually added after, after the stream well, in the days after the stream and I also started to make some of the small details that we're going to put in there. See, we're not going to do super much. We're going to add a few more things to this, I think. Mm, excuse me. To liven it up a bit. But um, we are uh, mostly going to start painting it. And then we are going to add even more details after painting. There's a lot of small details that I want to add after it's painted, you see. So painting will be going on in stages, but I know that I talked about the little uh, computer terminal that's going to go probably like in here. Oh, we need a, a stand in view here. I don't have any bananas for scale, so I have a miniature for sale. So you can see you can stand in here and go like I don't know how, how the computer sounds. They're making a beepy sound. Shut up. And then on the other side, we were talking about rat burgers. Yes, a tiny little uh, like takeaway or eating dining place here. I've made a counter for it. It has uh, it's hardly visible there, but it has a wood pattern on it our texture and then we have a little barbecue we're gonna put some kind of a grid thingy on this so it looks like an actual like barbecue thingy it's gonna be well somewhere here in the back behind all of this so that that's gonna get put in afterwards uh, we're gonna make, make some more table thingies for more kitchen appliances and stuff Oh, is it the... Oh, yeah. Maybe we need to have this 
because when I get in, oh, sorry for letting you drop like that. Yeah, here we go. Now I'm not that much in the camera, maybe. Maybe, yeah, we'll see. It's all out of focus because of the size of everything, so we'll see. It's an experiment, but thank you for letting me know. So this is going to go in there, and then I made a... Oh no, I lost my, I lost my piece of meat. I made one of these uh, for the kebab roasting thingy. So we can have some uh, nicely, n nicely, nicely done, I don't know, mutant kebab. Do you steal a kebab? I don't know, some kind of kebab. And we can have that back there with the, with the little barbecue thingy in the end and stuff. But that goes in. These are some of the parts that are going to go in afterwards because I want to be able to paint behind all of this first. And I also found this really cool thing at home that I had forgotten about, which is basically an aluminium mesh. I don't know if it's from a light fixture or whatever it is, but it has this really nice holy texture. You can see, you can actually see kind of through it. Uh, so we can build like some kind of a hatch here because I'm still I'm still not too keen on this surface it's so blank so I'm gonna I'm gonna cut out a bit of this uh, and you know experiment if we want to dig it into this we want it to be a piece of scrap that's just lying there that that's, that could work too I don't know we shall see but we'll start by cutting some stuff up It's kind of brittle because it's kind of easy to break apart. A little bit interesting metal this. So we could we make like a frame around this. I don't know. Yeah, the only bad thing about this setup is of course that you get the camera right here in my face. So maybe I will be hiding. We could, yeah. If we put some, if we straighten this out a bit and then make some kind of a frame around that, it could be some sort of ventilation, I suppose, or whatever. We don't have to. I mean, in our mind, it's a good thing if we can explain why we're doing it. But you also don't kind of have to if you don't want to. You can just make some random stuff and let the spectators, the people watching it, wherever it is, uh, make up their mind what they think it is, as long as it doesn't look super out of place. And we could take some plastic card or some scrap bits, we could possibly, possibly we can put some really thin strips of this stuff. get that weird texture on it where it's not going to scale very well. We might have to use some of the other foam for that if... if uh, hello Mitch, Mitch! Welcome in, welcome in, most welcome, most welcome. There's my scrap bit of the steel thing there. Because we're supposed to use scraps, so I'm not, I don't want to bring out the, like, the big sheets of this. I want to use the one, the things that I have that is scrap pieces of this as well. We could, I guess, draw this out and make the whole shape in one go. We kind of need... So, uh, 
How is everybody today? Everybody doing good? Or at least surviving, I guess, since you have logged into somewhere and, you know, you, you're here. This is very... Like, did it happen like once and then like stop or... Is it peeping now all together all the time or it's going okay? What did I throw on the table? Was it this I threw on the table? Uh, okay, let's see if we can. How is that? Is that different? Still. Oh yeah, it's regulating weirdly. No, that's still going there. Okay. What is going on? It's been fixed? No. Because you know there's like two there's like two measuring thingies on the on the mic thingy. Yeah. And it seems to be like it's still registering like some kind of a sound. I don't know what is going on. I will try something. There we go. That should be better. Yep, you step away and I start turning things up. Is that better? There's no like weird sound now, right? Because there's no registering of it in OBS anyway. Could also turn off the fan in the background a bit, I guess, because uh, it's kind of warm in here now. We don't really need too much more heat right now. We're closed in here in the cozy warmness of the warms. Yeah, because both the thing is the measurement thing is on the sound in OBS. Yeah, I can I can see it's registering something as well. I don't know what if it's the computer fans or what it is. Might be sound coming out in from the outside through the roof as well, I guess. But I don't think there's any more I can do, so unless it's too horrible. Yeah, no, I. That's what I did. I unplugged every. Uh, I unplugged it. 
That's the way the sound got back to the normals. I guess it could be because the computer is standing on a box and there's a, like a sound from that. This is pleasant compared to the other one, okay. Yeah, let's uh, try and keep at it and see what's going on. It's uh, all we can do in life. Yeah, I'll keep uh, an eye out on the sound, on the decibel meters, and, and the chat. If somebody screams at me that, oh my god, it sounds like you're murdering baby squirrels, stop it. I'm thinking that this is a bit sick, maybe. Uh, yeah. Maybe some scrap cardboard to make it. Because I don't want to just put it here because uh, it might not be so visible for you guys. But here uh, there is like a gap. Can we really want it sunk in a little bit even? I guess we could try and uh, cut and scrape some stuff out. Where did I put stuff? Where is my stuff? He said, wandering off into the background. using uh, some sculpting tools to uh, dig out a little hole but first we need to mark off and not too deep apparently uh, where the cutting is going to be done uh, I'm just going to hold this in place with my finger and make a cut all the way around like that and then we can go in with the without trying to ruining stuff too much Just like then. Because it doesn't matter if this uh, surface becomes uneven because we're going to put a piece of metal over it anyway. going along the cut edges that we made and we're getting static foam <laughs> everywhere now uh, yeah my hand is completely blocking the view there but, uh, hey such is life so basically we're using this to dig into the styrofoam a bit, just scraping, not not really applying much in the way of, of force to this, because <laughs> this is definitely harder and definitely sharper, sharp enough to do this. And we can use the other side as well and just sort of work our way from the edge and inwards
Go at it a bit more in the middle and just remove it and we can do a test fit. I'm gonna have to be careful gluing this in though because if we use hot glue and press it down, the hot glue is gonna come up through the holes. Let me get all the scrap away here as if you could when it's static but yeah that looks that makes this surface does not look horribly we're carefully uh, lurking with for getting some work done all right you lurk on bone you lurk on man and you carefully are mixing the new paint that is awesome these funny little parts that are left over from cutting uh, could also be okay just like eh, eh. look there's a piece of whatever metal there and it will look like it belongs because we have the same pattern in another place so we'll keep those around uh, we also need to be careful with the hot glue simply because it can melt through uh, quite easily but I think that's our best bet uh, anyway for a glue that will somehow attach and I'm actually going to attach it to the metal bit first that way it's going to be a little cooler when we press this down back into the styrofoam again if it's too warm it's going to sort of ooh. That whole metal piece is quite, it's aluminium, so I'm not surprised. It's a pretty good conductor. Uh, so uh, I can see the shiny glue a little bit, but I don't think any, but anything is coming up above. But yeah, now the glue, uh, time to cool down a little bit so it doesn't melt the styrofoam as much anyway. It's so weirdly quiet in here now. I'm so used to it. Yeah, I can feel some of the glue coming up. But we can sand that down once this is completely cool if we want to. We might just keep it like that. Uh, I mean, it's going to get painted. And this is going to be an interesting piece to paint because we're going to have to use the primer on anything that is like metallic or plastic. And not so much on this. Then we can just go on with the paint straight away. Uh, and I don't know if we need to do anything more before getting any paint on this at this point. To be honest, I was thinking we might add some more details, but we're gonna add details, a lot of details afterwards, as I mentioned. So. Uh, I think we're going to get some primer and start priming all the plastic and or metallic parts. And then we're going to let that dry for a little bit. Uh, we might want to get a brush as well, I suppose. I heard brushes are good for brushing things on. Food has been eaten. All medications of the day has been taken. You are free of must and responsibilities. Now, active potato. Okay, activate potato. It would have been so funny if you would just have miswritten that, so it would have said activate potato mod. It would have been hilarious. And basically we're putting a primer on all the plastic bits because uh, we're going to paint this in acrylics and acrylics won't really hold paint well on their own. So we need this uh, 
call it, this is paper, so that is not necessary to prime actually. And the primer can go on the styrofoam as well, so we don't really have to be like, oh no, we have to be careful not to do this. It, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't have to be primered. But this, uh, when you brush on a primer, it's not a rattle can primer, and there's no real solvents involved. And that means, because uh, if we were using a rattle can primer, uh, and we got some primer on this, it would start to melt. Because that was polished styrene does when it comes in contact with solvents. Basically. clear tubes which are not going to be transparent anywhere actually and they are made of plastic so they need a primer otherwise if we were going to use like transparency the transparency of the tubes we would probably would have to put them in after we paint so we don't accidentally cover them with paint somewhere but now uh, my plan is that they are steel pipes or metallic of some kind so I'm gonna paint them as such it is interesting to prime something like this because it's so custom made and everything is just put in to look good and we have no no uh, uh, there's no thought when we build it to how we're gonna reach in and paint things and since we want to paint most of it together there is no there's no real chance for us to sub-assemble this, so we have to paint it as it is, so hmm, we have to face these issues and solve them as we go along. I have no idea what came up on, uh, in this pipe, but it's, I found a broken PVC pipe and I thought it looked good, basically. This one happened here. It's probably one of the main pipes too for refineries. Yeah, I don't really know what this is yet, if this is some kind of a old refinery, some control station, some old central heating or drinkable water reservoir, whatever it was, it is firmly broken and inhabited by uh, Rat Burger and Company. Uh, this is plastic, so this wants some primer on it. It doesn't have to be the best coverage of primer because uh, 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 as long as it, there's some primer on the surface it's enough. Primer is there to make a good surface for the paint to adhere to. It's not there to cover anything or actually give a, a usable color in the end. You can use primer colors as like uh, shadows if you use darker primers I suppose. But it's really not what they're there for start with anyway get some primer on this little grate oh, this is gonna be so nice to rust up and dirty up it's gonna be so much fun okay here comes the big challenge to getting all of these pipes in here primed enough because they are <laughs> you didn't really build this to be practical did you pixel nope i made it to be pretty and look the part mm, that, that means that you have a spare taco for later that is a glorious luxury could also uh, have airbrushed on the, the primer, I suppose, and get it on most parts. Uh, still going to be quite tricky to get in behind things 
in some places so we'll just have to, but if we can't get in and if we can't really see those places it doesn't also doesn't really matter if they get uh, very good coverage with primer or paint because it's not visible so it does not matter so much a little bit maybe but not much unless you want to make it matter because then it can matter oh look at all these pipes just waiting to be metalized and rusted mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. I bought the spicy fish were really good <laughs> ouch nom nom um, ow, ouch nom 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 food why are you delicious stop hurting me om nom ouch I can relate to that try to get in everywhere yeah that sounds uh, that sounds like it you know would be a great comic strip num num ouch num num ouch num num ouch stop food you're delicious why are you punishing me And then we're gonna get to make a lot of like paper notes and stuff and put up here like little prayer leaflets things. That's gonna be nice. Maybe that's the restaurant name on the other side of this spicy rat. Better take a bite, bite out of your out of your food before it takes a bite out of you. Spicy rat. Now with extra live rats in the rat burgers. Mm -mm -mm. But you haven't cooked these rats. No, that's how you know it's fresh. I mean, doesn't that sound like good marketing? I think it sounds like brilliant marketing. Brilliant marketing, if I do say so myself, and I do. Therefore, it must be true. Swishly, swishly, swoosh. Swish, 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 swish. <laughs> oh, the primer really didn't like to stick to this surface. And I still have, this has still been sanded a bit. Let's see. Let the primer dry long and properly on that one, I think, before we start messing about with it too much. Oh, 
Welcome to the spicy rat. May I take your order, sir? Uh, can I have a hamburger? No, we only have rat burger. Sorry. There is only rat burger. Not a spicy burger. And my, my, my sausages, of course. Let's never forget the mice sausages. <laughs> you love this little voice? Yes, come uh, by uh, Red Burger. It is super fresh. My food just bit me. Yes, I told you, it is super fresh. This is why we do not sell drink to you, sir. It is full of blood, you can just drink that. It's fresh. Only the best just for you. Okay, and then these little things on the side. I have no idea what this is, but uh, I don't know, some kind of a meat exchange meeting thingy. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, uh, that is not weird at all. Weird, so like silky, too silky smooth voice with an accent check add it to memory archive or or something i don't know it's the kind of voice that shanti would react positively to i think it's because of the low humming thingy that sort of goes on with it mm. But making you feel cozy, okay? Well, well, you know the story about the goats in the rivers and that, so yeah. But that's nice. It's good that it doesn't make you feel like you want to run away. Feeling nice and cozy is always nice, you know. So, so it's probably a good thing. especially the see-through ones we might want to get some extra extra read all about it layers so they don't shine through just getting a, these bright colors away from them and just getting them like with a neutral gray instead, all of them, it's already starting, for me anyway, it starts to like, ooh, I can see where this is going. And I do not believe we have really missed anywhere. Do not believe we have missed anywhere. Well, this one might need some extra love, I suppose. And especially the plastic ring around it. Alright, uh, I need to clean this brush. I need to clean out this brush before the brick primer starts to dry. In an actual brush. Because you know what? That would be bad. That would be bad. Okay. Well, the primer luckily dries quickly, as we can see. This is all dry. This is almost dry. So that won't take long. And while that does that, I'm actually going to remove the cutting board because it's going to add on 3D printer is on. Time to start printing. Oh hell yeah! What are you printing? What you printing? What's on the printer? Because no, it already, ha already has colors and stuff on it, and I don't want it to be more color. So 
So we're just gonna put it down here, and we're gonna always store your cutting mat flat. By the way, uh, if you have them standing up as well, they're gonna get really ugly shaped after a bit. And I do think that is something one would like to avoid. Let's see which would be, oh wait, we have the weird one. Uh, let's see if that works well with the Mars Wank. All the paints, all the paints, all the paints. There's some slavery brushy tips. Mm. Mm. Oh, there's been metallic metallics in that one. A clear cake. And I'm just trying to find some, something to put the water in for the, the brushes. It doesn't matter if it's a little bit dirty because uh, we're, we're, we're basically going to base cover this now by an gun. oh yeah so yeah did you download those from somewhere from somewhere cool or did you make them or, no? or as they say on all the f in all the facebook thingiverse nice because that's a uh, the thing that you, there's been metal in this one as well don't really want any metal in my base uh, so. no shiny bits yet thank you please sir very much no 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 but otherwise that's uh, the prevailing thing on the internet isn't it somebody shows up something printed and everybody goes stl it's like it's like a damn nemo seagull thing is like mine mine stl 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 ah but that's a maybe not bayonetta's gun but something something for the cosplay some kind of an emblem or something uh, could be a good uh, training point to start that maybe i don't know if you're into that sort of stuff no i don't know Like in life, maybe you know that's 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 a good start. I'm not used this white at all. Is this the pearlescent whitey thingy? Uh, let's pour some out. Oh, there we go. No, it looks like a normal white to me. Looks white. Let's try it. We don't need a black base, we need a, I want a good dark gray base. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, when you're like in school and stuff and, and building a cosplay, uh, you might not, you know, there might not be enough hours in a day. Wow, that, I mean, that was a lot of black, but it just swallowed that up, didn't it? That did not do much at all. Well, we can do it with a dark, dark gray black as well. This, however, we're gonna turn on the fan in a while a bit again because this, however, will take time to dry. I guess, I wonder if I can thin this down enough to actually push it through the airbrush. You know what this means? Shatters shatters of the shaft it's science time we can also unplug the hot glue gun for now because we're painting not gluing no hot glue guns now i don't know how many much more how much more hot glue gun you will use actually on this build not super much in a way and there is the have behind everything 
when we are airbrushing thingy there is a little cable is the compressor it's on Seems to be moving as it should. Should, 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 should. so we can have some control over how much water that's gonna go in here mm. just let's slather it up uh, we don't have to put all the water in at once we can go a little bit and otherwise it's gonna be one enormous job to try and mix it together and I'm using this simply because it's uh, it doesn't get there's, there's a limited amount of water I can use so I don't over wet it oh, this is way too sticky but this is a high pigmented paint anyway, so it should we should be able to water it down quite a lot without losing. I think we're gonna need a bit more. But we should be able to dilute this into a airbrushable state. I hope. It does take a lot of water to change this color. See how runny it is? You can just like. Uh, and, uh, I'm just hitting the inside wall of this little uh, let's go like that so you can actually see the improvised little airbrush booth so I'm just uh, I'm actually gonna oh, actually we're just, oh, we're just gonna add more and more water until it either works or it's too much water uh, we're gonna need a lot of water That's okay because we're gonna need a lot of paint if we get this uh, into a good consistency. I have airbrushed this uh, type of paint before, so it shouldn't be any problems. Now it's actually slightly runny. Let's give that a go. Uh, Since I'm gonna be airbrushing it quite a lot, I am also going to put on my little mask because we don't want atomized a million tons of atomized plastic acrylic thingies in our lungs. That is bad. Easy function test. If you cover this part and try to breathe and you can't, 
then it's tight enough. Th then remove your hands so you can breathe again. Oh my god, my shaft has gone black. No, I lost another shaft. No, I didn't. Okay. And then we can start out with checking how well this sprays. That works. That's in there. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm gonna print this, it's gonna be so cool. Hello, welcome to waiting 75 years. Okay. It's even a bit watery, but uh, we'll see how it. It's watery and it's stupid. That is a very interesting combo. The paint might need a bit more mixing. Maybe. Didn't I check that you were on? Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's on, but I uh, also haven't plugged in the electric. So let's see, is that on? Oh, listen, hey! And now all of a sudden, it sort of works. Who would have known that you need electricity to run an electric machine? Da -da -da. But the paint is a bit watery, you can see that there. So we're gonna go with some dusting. Just get some paint on there, uh, and then we'll let it dry, and then we will uh, uh, go over it again. Yeah, I think this paint I think the paint needs more paint. Mm, otherwise this is not gonna this is gonna take way too long. And be way too sloppy otherwise. But it's okay, we have quite a lot of paint on the plate here, so we can... We can go back with the... Uh, add in some more paint, as long as it hasn't dried too much. We don't want the goopy bits of paint in here. But we do want... A bit more paint. Yeah, I. Are you printing the whole gun like in in like mostly a big piece, or are you? Is it split up into bits, or how is it looking? Also, can you hear me properly when I speak in this silly mask? Is it audible what I'm saying at all, or should I just shut up and paint? <laughs> 